Okay, so for once and for all, let's 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 end this discussion about how to assess turnout. So by the strict uh, uh, Russian way, at least as it is now, there's a couple of things they do, which in my view are not they're incomplete. They they don't show the full picture of a person's uh, ability at all. So you'll show one. Mm -hmm. One is they lay on the floor press the knees to the ground. If the lower back raises up a little bit, which his, his does a little bit. That's fine, yeah, right? If the lower back really raises up, then that's it, no. So Misha's like right on the edge of being accepted or not in terms of just, but see what they're not, they're not taking into account the fact that people have different sort of physique. Right, so some people are uh, very skinny when they're his age. He's only eight, but he's very muscular, very, very muscular everywhere. Just like mom's muscular, you know, you have... So his hips are tight a little bit, as a man's hips normally are. I mean, his are more open than the average man, for sure. For sure, the average man. But in Bali, there's this trend towards the hyper-flexibility. And what hyper-flexibility gets you a man without strength without real power, let's say power, not strength, power. The power to jump in the way that, let's say, Barishnikov did, Nureyev. Uh, these were men that had muscle. They were also flexible, and he will be flexible by the time it matters. He's only eight, so we got plenty of time. But if you're going to just judge a child w without developing them at all, they're, they're, that's not really, that's not an intelligent way to do it. Now let's show the other way that they do it. Now again, for the average boy, he's flexible. Flexible. For the he average way. First of all, so he is not going too much, right? But right. then if you go to abs absolute, absolute, absolute side, way, right? Then they also do this. If there is a rotation within the hip while they're sitting, sitting straight up. Right, sit up, son. this happen, yeah. so he, they can, they will. Okay, so here's the problem with those two things. In both cases, they're sitting on their turnout. This is the issue, right? So turnout is, is absolutely from, let's, let's just call it with the butt cheeks, but inside, right? In the sockets. But the muscle around uh, the butt and the top of the hips and the lower back are all part of turnout. So if you're laying on it, you're laying on your turnout, and right now he's sitting on his turnout. So this is not an, effect, this is not an honest way of assessing turnout. It is a way of assessing flexibility. Okay, so if, if flexibility was the determiner of turnout, then okay, I guess this one be okay. But it isn't. Strength is a determiner. Now, there are other factors that are really, really important to ballet other than just turnout. Point your feet hard, okay? So having flexible feet and a, and a long Achilles, which he has a tremendous Achilles, actually, tendon, it's also the distance between the knee and the, and, the, and the ankle, which is, so his, the distance between his knee and his ankle is longer than from his knee to his hip. So there's a bunch of uh, qualifiers here. And so his turnout is just on the limit of, of what the Vaganova Academy, let's say, or Bolshoi would accept. But he has attributes that are more important than flexibility, which is his natural ability to develop strength. And from strength comes power. From power comes jumps and turns, and especially the ability to be a partner. But having flexible feet and ankles is something that you can't really affect. You cannot change that very much. So in his case, yes, you can develop it further and further. But let's say his foot pointed the way it is now. That's no, 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 no. Up like that, like a normal, like my feet are like that. Okay, there's nothing you can do about that. That's, that's a, a, a conflict of bone. And so we're talking about, if you turn about turnout, I always think of landing. Landing is where you need your turnout more than anything else. And on demi point, the truly most destructive position that you could get into in terms of ballet is the frog. Okay, so uh, on one hand, this is used to assess turnout. Again, enormous mistake. And worse than that, it's used as a stretch. A st uh, with, okay, so stretching and turnout don't really go together. That doesn't really mean anything. Not that you don't, there isn't a minimum amount of flexibility that you must have. Of course there is. 
But stretching in order to facilitate turnout doesn't make a lot of sense. It doesn't really do much. It doesn't do anything. Uh, unless you're so stiff that you can't turn out, and in this case you shouldn't be doing ballet. Um, go ahead and get up on your forearms like normally. So this is just terrible on a, in a number of ways. Compressing the lower back. Just stop it. Compressing the lower back. The neck's in a terrible position relative to everything else. And, uh, I mean, his hips are flat on the floor. Okay, look, I mean, look, obviously the kid can, can turn out. I mean, that's not a question. But this is an awful way to do it. If anything, if you're going to be on your stomach doing anything, you want to lie flat down with your, hand, with your, uh, with your forehead on, on your hands or on the floor or whatever. But even so, you get this wave of the back, and that's the opposite of what we're going, uh, going for in terms of placement. So, again, placement being absent from most of the world's ballet uh, methods at this point in time is why we're seeing all of this, these mistakes creeping in. And we need to, to catch this and, 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 and kind of run an uh, intervention, a pedagogical intervention, so to speak. You can relax, son. Okay. Yeah? Now it'll be interesting in a couple of years after he's had some training, you'll see he'll be completely turned out, but strong and able to utilize that turnout in jumping, landing, poses, partnering, everything that you'll need to do. So I guess it should end on that note that turnout is a product of strength 100%. Again, obviously there's a minimum amount of flexibility that you have to have, which of course you can earn, right? He started out more stiff than this. I mean, we've been working his flexibility slowly over uh, the last few weeks. So he'll be completely in splits and all that stuff by the time he needs, needs that stuff. But that has nothing much to do with turnout, right? Turnout is developed first by placement, standing, just standing, laying on the floor, getting it squared away, then standing, then doing plie, then doing tendu, then shifting your weight. And this is, this is the method. This is how it starts. Right?